Oh man, this is smelling amazing. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be making char kway to. It's my first time making it, but I've been having it a lot. Um, it's actually a restaurant in downtown Toronto called Seuss. Um, they make amazing char kway to. It's a Malaysian dish that's uh, often found, um, you know, at the hawker centers on the street. So stay tuned. All right, so we got all the ingredients set up here. Um, we're gonna start, first start off by chopping, this is what we call lap chang, or um, basically Chinese sausage. Shout out to TNT. So this dish, when I first had it, it kind of reminds me of a Chinese dish that I had eat a lot, um, that I ate a lot growing up. Uh, called, uh, it's called Gong Chao Ao Ha. I'm probably butchering the Chinese name a lot, but basically it's this stir-fried beef noodles, um, uh, rice noodles. They use fat noodles, the, the fat wide noodles. It's stir-fried with like, it's like an almost soy, soy sauce based sauce. And there's, you know, green onions in it. Um, there's bean, bean sprouts. So it reminds me of that. Now, I couldn't find those fat noodles for some reason at, at the Chinese supermarket. So I did have these and find these instead. These are uh, basically, I don't know what the Chinese uh, name for this dish is, but uh, basically um, these are like, almost like big noodles rolled up all the way into a ball. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the microwave. So we're gonna use three cloves here. What we're gonna do is I have some marin uh, some shrimp that I thawed. Um, and the recipes, and a lot of the recipes, they don't season at all or they don't marinate it. Uh, I just put, I just patted them dry, added some uh, garlic salt, some pepper, and some red chili flakes, just cause I like my shrimp to be seasoned. And then after this, I got some uh, Chinese, I think garlic chives, these long things right here, and then I got some green onions. And then from there, once we got the, uh, the chives all chopped up, we're going to make the sauce. So, one of the really important ingredients that um, is in this kind of soy based, soy based sauce is something called kepap manis, and it's basically a sweet soy sauce. So I specifically went to my Asian grocery market, TNT, to get this. Um, now we start off with this, about four teaspoons. So this is the sauce bowl. So we start by one, two, three, four. We have premium dark soy sauce here. One, two, three, four. We're gonna add four teaspoons of light soy. So one, two, three, four. And then we have, last thing is some oyster sauce. One. That's about two. We pretty much have all our ingredients ready now. Last thing that I have. To get everything nice and combined. Um, with charcoal toe, normally you would cook it in a wok, a uh, really piping hot wok. Um, but obviously you can see here, my oven, uh, sorry, my, uh, my stove top, uh, we cannot have a wok here. It's not going to get hot enough. So I'm just using a regular flat top. So I'm not going to get the, that nice signature, uh, what we call wok hay taste. Uh, it's almost like a smoky taste. Um, with anything that's cooked in a wok, unfortunately, but we're gonna try to make the best that we can and we got some eggs that we're gonna be cooking as well. So I'm gonna use some canola oil. I know the uh, the original recipe uh, uses lard. Fortunately, today I don't have uh, any lard to cook with. Okay guys, so you guys probably don't wanna buy these rice rolls next time because I've been spending the last like six or seven minutes on folding these. So don't just buy noodles that are already cut next time. Um, but it's all good. I think it'll still turn out nice. And you know, with the recipe, the, the rice noodles are gonna break anyways, um, just because of the nature of how these noodles are, are made. 
Um, so there is gonna be breakage, right? So that's totally fine. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just place shrimp on. Shrimp is in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put half your garlic. So I'm gonna, everything I'm gonna put in half. Our garlic is in. Okay. And then we just place this here. Ooh, it's already smelling amazing. Half the uh, Chinese sausage. that. I'm going to put the chives and the green onions. So about half. Sprinkle that in. This is actually smelling amazing. We're going to put in these rice noodles. So these are already clean, which is really good. Put a cup ish, maybe a little bit more. These ones are gonna add a little bit of water. So that's gonna help actually moisten up the, the noodles a little bit. Probably add a little bit too much green stuff, but that's totally cool because we want to add a little bit more volume to this dish. So we're going to start to pull the sauce in. Oh man, this is smelling amazing. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add eggs. At least two eggs. I'm gonna I wanna say yeah, let's do two eggs. Okay. Now from here we're just going to kind of fold everything together. Oh shoot, forgot to add the sambal. Nice generous heating. There we go. Cut. So, fresh off the walk. Here guys. You guys are gonna have that first bite. Where's that shrimp? I'm gonna get a shrimp for you guys. Woo, that's hot. Here you guys go. Have that first bite. Mm. Damn, that's actually really, really, really good. Holy! Here, guys, have another bite. Let's get a little bit of that um, Chinese sausage. I'm gonna make the second batch here, but um, you guys can see here, um, first time making it, it's actually really, really good. Highly recommend you guys try making this. Um, I'm gonna make the second batch now. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, um, subscribe to my channel, and I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Um, if you guys have any other recipes that you want me to cook, comment down below, and I'll make that in the next video or in the next coming week.